Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you an easy to follow Android home screen setup. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great everyone, so today's home screen is titled Flare by the artist 21 Marco 12 and you know what rhymes with Flare? Stare, which is what people will be doing when they see this very home screen. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a very well laid out theme. It's got a very clean UI. You can call it a single page theme because as you can tell, you cannot scroll left or right. And it comes with all the general information such as your little battery circle there, your time, a Google search bar that links you to your camera as well, as well as some notifications here. Now this is linked to WhatsApp, but I'll get to that part a bit later. But it does have some quite useful shortcuts that you can of course rename if you so desire. Now what really makes this theme brilliant is its little slide out draw that when I tap that little area there, it brings out the draw quick and simple like that. So it gives you more access to your information such as your music player right here that when tapping it will start playing your music. And it also has that little progress bar that looks really neat there. And of course, you've got some more information here that looks really, really good. So if you'd like to know how to set up this very Android home screen, then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great. So before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. So starting off with the apps that you'll be needing, let's have a closer look. You'll definitely be needing a third party launcher. I do recommend Nova Launcher for this very setup. You can, of course, use Thema, but we'll come to that a bit later. So a good old third party launcher is always good to have. Next up will be pop up widget for that little slide out app drawer that you just saw there. Zupa widget for all the widgets that you saw on your home screen. Media utilities if you want to get your music playing on that side app drawer. And then last but not least, a good old file explorer. I always recommend ES File Explorer because it's extremely easy to use and you need it for your cutting and pasting of your various files. So next up, we want to customize our media utilities, make sure that it works. So we just need to open it up now. You need to select our settings there at the top. It might also be there at the bottom if you say using a Samsung device. Going into your settings right now and scrolling down, make sure that all of these application integration apps are selected just so that it works with everything, but especially Zupa because that's what we'll be using in this tutorial. And then make sure that all of these are selected as well, such as alternative data collection, direct control, cover art available, cover art size, and send song progress. So always make sure that these are selected. So just in case you set up another home screen, then you're all good to go. You can just back out of media utilities as now we want to jump into our ES file explorer. So next up, what you want to do is check in the link in the description below. It comes with a zip file that you either want to copy and extract onto your computer and then copy it onto your phone or just download the zip directly onto ES File Explorer and then you can extract it using the File Explorer. So either way, you want to make sure that you have this Flare theme folder copied onto your phone as these are the necessary files needed for this setup. So I'm just going to hold down on these Zupa widget files and you know that they're Zupa widget because they end in dot ZW. Now you want to select all three. You want to select copy now and you just want to paste them into your main SD card directory. Make sure that you're in the main SD card. Then look for the Zupa widget folder. Then look for the templates folder. And once you're in the templates folder, you just want to select paste and you just want to paste those three files right there. And that's pretty much your background setup complete is now if we back out of everything, we are now ready to set up our Nova Launcher settings. So moving on to our Nova Launcher settings, if you have anything on your home screens whatsoever, you just want to hold down on them and just drag them into the X at the top, or you can just hold down on them and select remove. Next up, we want to hold down on the home screen. You want to select that little wrench right there. This will bring you up into your Nova Launcher settings, and we want to jump into our desktop and then into our desktop grid. Now an 11 by 12 is recommended. This worked out very well for a Nexus 5 setup. I'm not too sure how it'll be for say a Galaxy S3 or an S4 or a phone without soft keys. So I'm not too sure on that. Maybe if you have worked that out, please let us know in the description below and I'll take note of it. So an 11 by 12 works very well. Your margins you want to be on none, shadows off. Home screens you just want to have one home screen because it's just a single page setup. And if you scroll a bit down, resize all widgets and widget overlap, always good to have no matter what the occasion. So I'm just going to go back right now. If you go into our look and feel, you want to scroll down and make sure that the show notification bar, make sure that that option is disabled because we don't need that one at the top. 
we got our own awesome one and of course we got our dock we want to have that disabled as well don't need the dock and that is our Nova launcher setting all we have to do now is to change the wallpaper now this is extremely easy we just need to hold down on the home screen select wallpapers right now go into your preferred gallery app and from here you just want to look for the flare theme folder there it is now this is a bit confusing you might say well there's nothing in here but of course it is the same color as the background of the gallery app so slightly confusing but you just need to tap in the middle select ok it's pretty much just a dark color and there it is set up like that so what we're going to do now is to set up the super widget templates great so let's add in some super widget templates so all i have to do now is to hold down on the home screen and i want to select widgets right now and i want to scroll to the very bottom and look for super widget pro now all you have to do is choose a fairly large size, say a 7x2, and let's just drag it to the top. We're going to start off with that picture widget that you saw, so make sure that it takes the entire width of the screen. And then this has gone down by 2, C1, 2, so we want to make it a 5 in height. So we're going to go 3, 4, 5, like that. So once that's done, you want to tap away. You want to now select the hand. This will now bring up the Zoop widget configuration menu here and you want to select SD card remember you need the pro version of Zoop widget otherwise you won't have that option so make sure that you purchase the pro version you will not regret that decision so I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and look for the one the picture one there it is right there the flare picture you can just leave it as it is we'll configure it later and there it is set up like that so once that's done we're gonna do the second which is the one at the bottom so same rule applies scroll to the bottom Super Widget Pro, choose any size, does not really matter. But we do want to hold down on it and resize it so that it takes up the rest of the screen. Tapping away, tapping the hand once again, going back into your SD card. Remember, nothing much changes here, it's still the same steps. It's pretty easy to follow, so let's scroll down. And here is the one that we need. It's called the flare notification. So I'm going to select that now. Now just one thing to take note that you can't really see right now. But this bar, this, there's somewhat of a dark gray, almost black bar that's at the top here. It kind of look, looks like it's being shifted up or down too much. But it doesn't really fit correctly by this Google search bar. So all I did was jump into my layout settings. Scroll a bit down and you want to look for the one here titled the upper dock. And that height we want to change. So if I select it right now. Scroll a bit down, that height is now 33. I changed it to say a 55. You might have to adjust it slightly, but it just made this top bar look a whole lot better. So if we go back now, and there we go, it should be all set up, ready to add in that pop-up widget on the left-hand side. Great guys, so we are almost there. We just need to add in the pop-up widget now. So I'm just gonna be selecting this area right here. This is gonna bring up the Zoop widget configuration for this top widget as I'm going to jump into my layout right now scroll a bit down I want to look for that bitmap titled list y2 if I select it you can see that it's that top right one there so I'm going to be selecting it right now to bring up all my options but the one I'm most worried about is this widget on tap action it is now set as shortcut but of course with pop-up widget you need to configure it once again otherwise it says fail to instantiate the widget and that will never go away so you want to scroll down make sure that see I'm in the third column here titled shortcuts and you want to look for the one here titled pop-up widget remember you do want to go for the pro version of pop-up widget simply because it has a lot better options and it doesn't pop up with the unpleasant notification bar at the top so that does come in very handy now all we left to do now is to select create a new pop-up widget and of course you want to be selecting a super widget. Now do take note you want to go for a somewhat small one say a 1x4 as you're going to be resizing it accordingly. Next up you can say change the title if you want so I'm just going to call it SB for sidebar. Select OK. You are welcome to take off this reflection effect. I personally think it doesn't look too good on this theme. And if we scroll a bit more down, customize position. I do think this plays a role as simply because you want it to be as far on the left hand side as possible. And I think selecting it over there is going to somehow change it up. So make sure that you have customized position and you're just going to be leaving it on a zero by zero as you just want to keep it on that left hand side. Speaking of sides, I changed my animation. I selected a slide from left as I thought that looked pretty cool. You can also say pop from left. It's entirely up to you, but I think that looked a lot better. So 
All we have to do now is to resize this. Now it is somewhat confusing as there's no real grid size. You just kind of have to play it by ear or eyes. And so all I did was take up the entire height of the page as you can see because of course it takes up the entire height or length. And you just want to make sure that you resize it pretty much till there. So you want to have pretty much a pen or stylus width on the each side. It is somewhat confusing and it might not work for each device. But this seemed to work out best for me and we can now try it out. So you want to select back now. You want to select SB or your sidebar and it is now be configured for your widget on SAP action. So let's just test it out. We can go back out of everything and let's see how it goes. We select that little sidebar option there. It says fail to instantiate the widget. We don't care about that. We're going to try it again and let's see how it goes. So tapping it brings up this side widget. It's looking pretty good. Let's just see, we're going to tap the hand to bring out our Zoop widget options, go back into our SD card, and you know what we're going to be doing, we're going to be scrolling all the way to the very bottom, really need to clean this up, and wait for it, there it is, so it's this one here, the sidebar pop up, and that fits very well, I know you might say, well how did I get it right in the first time, and that was because it just took some trial and error, See now, as you can tell, mine doesn't look too good, because there's a bit of a gap there, so we need to change that, so if I just minimize that right now go back into my pop-up widget and from here you want to select that little range to open up the editor of that sidebar widget and let's just see make it a little bit wider like that don't worry if it looks funky there we're just going to go back out of everything open up that sidebar once again and make sure now that you want to open up the, the super widget configuration now it's not going to resize itself you have to reopen it so you go back into your sd card repeat the entire process and within a few trial and error attempts, you will get it looking a whole lot better. So I'm just going to select back now. Let's just try it out once again. So tapping there will then bring up, wait for it. It's going to configure it. And there it is. I might actually have to resize it a little bit more, but I'm going to leave it as is as I'll edit it later on. So that is pretty much the theme complete. There's one more thing that you want to do is say open up each one of your Zoop widget templates that you just opened. You want to jump into your layout and change each one of these jump to shortcuts. What I mean by that, well say the time, if you select the rich text time right there, your module on tap action has been set to open up the clock. Now of course you can change that just by selecting that option and then scrolling to your app list and then changing it accordingly. So you want to do that for every single little hotspot area that you so desire and once you're happy with it all, now remember you want to do this for each one of the widgets, so you want to open up this one as well as is this something I want to discuss with you guys especially regarding the message counts. Now if I scroll a bit down as you can see messages is now blank because if I open up the edit text manually it's got a task variable set up here. Now viewers if you'd like for me to explain how to set up task variables so that it displays any app notification for Zupa then let me know. I can do it on Thursday for you guys. It's very quick and very simple and it works very well if you say you want to display your WhatsApp or your Telegram notifications and you just want to display them in Zupa and it's very easy to do and you can set it up but you do need Tasker. So if you'd like to know how to set up this within Tasker and Zoop widget then let me know in the comment section below and I'll do it with pleasure. And for now you can change this edit text manually. I'm just going to get rid of all of it and select our system right now as I'm just going to be changing it to my unread SMS count just like that and as you can see it looks really good so I'm just going to select the tick right now I'm just going to be changing that WhatsApp one on the side draw to display the same thing as I can always change that in Tasker later on so all I want to do now is to go back into your main settings as once you've configured everything the way you want you want to go to your widget on tap action and do not forget this select disabled as you don't want to open up this configuration every time you bump one of the side areas. So this is a theme complete guys. Thank you very much for watching. And if that was a little too much to handle and you did have some trials and tribulations, well then you can always just apply the Thema theme for this very setup. All I have to do is click apply within Thema and just give it a few seconds. Let's just wait for it to do its thing. All I did was export the zip file that comes included with this very setup. Check in the link in the description below and you just need to copy it into the specified folder. Now it's been set up. You might have to do slight readjustments depending on what phone you have, 
But let's just see, I can tap this little bar here and it brings up this side draw. How cool is that? And tapping it will bring it away. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. Don't forget to check out our various social communities such as Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and even Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as a please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Other than that, it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.